Let's talk about priority for a minute because people got to get it together, man. We must get it together. Do what makes sense. Just do what makes sense, y'all. If you ain't got a whole lot of money left in your name, like what's more important? Christmas gifts for your kids or making sure you pay the rent. What you think more important? I hope you said paying your rent. Like, seriously. Do things that just, just do things that make sense. If you know that you need to start your business, if you're trying to finish your business plan or if you're trying to plan to get out that job, what are you doing every day when you come home from work? You at a job right now, what are you doing with yourself? I hope it's not drinking a beer and watching a game. Or playing a game, video games, whatever the hell you do. Stop that shit. How do you think you're really going to get out of that job? If you can't, listen to me. What you do with your free time is what's going to dictate where you go with your life. Because the truth of the matter is when you are an entrepreneur, there's nobody else around to make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to do. So if you can't manage your time when you get off that job, then guess what? You ain't going to make it an entrepreneurship. Point blank period. So stop dreaming about it because you ain't built for it yet. You need to stop. Change your habits now, today, right now, right this second. Start doing things different. Plan out your day. Write a to-do list every single day. And if you, when you get real good at it, you're going to write that to-do list the day before. And then if you get really, really good at it, you're going to start planning that week out at the beginning of the week and so on. The months are ahead of time. And you might get to the point where you're years ahead of time. I seen Kevin Hart said that he got his movies planned out for two years from now. You know what I mean? Like He already know what he's doing. He know where he's going to be on dates a year from today. You see what I'm saying? So just do what makes sense, y'all. Stop doing stupid stuff. You say ain't nothing but on, on Facebook but drama. So why you keep going and getting on that shit every day? You know what I mean? Or better yet, why you still got the same friend that's posting all the drama? Why don't you unfriend their ass? And if you don't want to unfriend them, unfollow them. You don't have to keep looking at that shit. That's up to you. You know what I mean? You can't blame the whole Facebook because of what you're choosing to do. You're choosing to allow that stuff to be on your on your timeline. You know what I mean? You saying that your business is not growing? Well, who's in charge of growing it? You. You see what I'm saying? You can't save money? Well, who's in charge of saving the money? You. Okay, well, sometimes you got a situation where your bills are more than what your income is. So what do you do then? Increase your damn income. It's not It's not hard. And increasing your income don't mean going to beg for a raise every day either. That means, all right, well, fine. They pay me this amount. Maybe I need to go do a side hustle. Maybe I know how to uh, grow Instagram because I just got finished trying to do mine. So that's what came to mind. Maybe I know how to grow Instagram. So now I'm going to create uh, Instagram pages and, and start uh, selling advertisement on that Instagram page to people who want to grow their uh, Instagram page that don't know how. I mean, figure out a side hustle. Do something different. You know how to cut half, cut half. You know what I mean? But you should be saving money now. You know what I mean? There's, there's no excuses to anything that you can think of. There's absolutely no excuse. Figure this shit out. You ain't got no car walk. Catch the bus. Uh, Uber. Do something. Figure it out. You be the Uber driver. You know what I mean? If you got a car, you be an Uber driver then. Figure this stuff out. Y'all just do what makes sense though. Stop doing stupid shit. You getting drunk with your friends every night. Getting drunk. You getting high. And then you wake up the next morning feeling stupid as hell because you're still homeless. You know what I mean? You're still living with a relative or you're still uh, behind on your bills. All type of shit. You know I mean, you probably won't be behind on your bills if you won't spend so much on weed or alcohol or whatever the case may be. You know I mean? I'm not bashing this stuff. I'm just saying do what makes sense. I, I drink alcohol, but I budget for, the, for that. You know what I mean? Like, do, do, it, do what makes sense. I can't say that enough. You see people are full of drama. Stop going around those people. Stop hanging with the same people who ain't doing shit. They never was doing shit. They ain't going to be doing shit probably. But until they figure that out, that's on them. What you got to do is do what makes sense for you. Stop dealing with the same people. I don't care how long you known them. I don't care how long you known them. You know what made me stop smoking weed? When I was in, um, I think I had, I might it might have been right after high school. I don't know when it was. But back in the day, I was a teenager. And I was smoking right in my, uh... My friend's uh, little shed. We had sheds in the back of the uh, apartments that we were living in. And everybody would go in his shed and they, we would just all smoke and get high as hell. And then we'd walk out and you'd feel like you're walking on fucking air. So when I left out, I was walking home because I was trying to hurry up and get home for a job interview I had at Dillard's, the store Dillard's. And on my way back to my apartment, way like in a whole nother court, 
I just crashed and fell asleep behind the rental office out that uh, the apartment complex. And when I woke up, it was hours past the time that I had to be at that job interview. And when I realized, like, damn, I just messed up a, a good paying job because it was like eight something an hour they paid, or nine dollars an hour. And back then, the minimum wage was like five seventy five, so that was good money for a young person at that time. And I was like, damn. I just messed up a job interview at a place that I really wanted to work, all because I wanted to get high. What the hell did I gain from getting high? And and I'm mean, and I was able to think that on my own at that age, and was able to realize, you know what? I ain't doing that shit no more. And that's what you got to be able to do, cause you grown. I was able to do that as a teenager, but you got to be able to do that as an adult. Be able to realize, you know what? I ain't doing this shit no more because every time I do this thing, whatever it is for you. It fucks me up. Every time I'm around this person, it fucks me up. Every time I'm around these people, you know what I mean? Or whatever the case may be, every time I go this place, whatever it is, stop doing that. Just do what makes sense. It's about priorities. It's about just elevating yourself above things that bring you down. Point blank, period. Understand what's important to your life. Fuck what everybody else is doing, y'all. If everybody talking about the newest show on TV, guess what? You probably shouldn't watch that show. If everybody going out to that particular club, you probably shouldn't be going to that club. You got to do the opposite of what everybody else is doing. Because if you're doing what everybody else is doing, then guess what? You're just part of the crowd. You're mediocre. You're nothing more. You're nothing less. You're just mediocre. That's what you want? Is that what you want? Because if you want mediocre results, then continue to do mediocre things. Keep doing what everybody else is doing. See where they get you just gonna be regular nobody's gonna remember you when you die all because you chose to fit in to be cool (laughs) you know what i mean like come on y'all figure this shit out figure it out let's change let's elevate let's do things different and if it's that hard like if you want to make it easier because i know it's tempting sometimes to to want to do things even though it's not good for you well you know what to make it easier if you separate yourself from everybody else What's an easy way to separate yourself from everybody else? Move. Move away. I mean, get away from everybody. Get away from those things. All of this stuff. But you got to make the right decision and do what's right for you, y'all. So I wanted to give you that this morning. Hopefully that helps. This is AJ Simmons. Thank y'all for watching, subscribing, like, sharing, and commenting. Talk to y'all soon. Don't bother me. I'm working.